Hey you guys, welcome back to Miss Ann's house when we are going to make some popsicles today. Are you excited? I'm pretty excited. I'm going to have to break it to you that this is not going to be a live video. We are premiering it live, but it is not live. So the actual live future Miss Ann is in the comments right now. So if you want to say hey and to, um, you know, tell her anything, ask any questions, she will be responding to your comments. But this present Miss Anne is not the future Miss Anne because we couldn't really do that. We'd have to freeze all these popsicles and that's not going to work if we're trying to do a live. Your video would go on for hours and hours and hours. So watch this video with Miss Anne. Say hey in the comments so that you guys can chat, but this video is not live. I am going to reveal to you what popsicle we are making that you guys asked for, people voted for, and it is the cake batter popsicle. So we're gonna be making that one today. And I'm gonna take you through the entire process of how we're going to do that. And it's probably for the best. Some of the other ones might have taken a little bit longer and this one should go pretty quick as long as you have all of the ingredients and some of the stuff you might have at your house right now. We are going to actually try a couple of different things with the popsicles because I don't know if you guys have ever made popsicles before, but like the biggest deal with popsicles is the mold. It's what the um, popsicle inside part freezes in. So some people have popsicle molds, um, some people don't. If you do have a popsicle mold, feel free to use it. Miss Dan did go to the store today and we bought some really funny ones. I'm gonna show you what they look like, but I'm also gonna use some non-traditional popsicle molds and I'm gonna show you how you can make your popsicles with those. So, Let's get into it. Let's see what we have to do to make these cake batter popsicles. All right, let's talk about molds for your popsicles. I have a couple of interesting items out here let's talk about. So the first thing that we are going to look at is this mold right here, which is the mold that I got from the store that you're supposed to be able to freeze popsicles in. I'm kind of skeptical about how well this will work, but it's kind of cute. Cactus popsicles. And um, I had limited choices. I kind of was hoping for a more traditional thing, but nobody had those left anymore, which is okay. So how this works is that we're gonna pour the popsicle batter for want of a better word, into these guys, and then we're gonna stick the popsicle moldy part in like that. And hopefully, upside down like that. Don't We won't do it the other way. And then that should hopefully freeze the popsicle with the stick inside, and we're gonna be able to break it just out. I don't know, these seem a little bit flimsy, but we're gonna try them out to see how it works. When we look over here, these are my non-traditional molds that we have to make popsicle with, popsicles with. This is a yogurt cup from my lunch that I had this week at the library one time. And these are silicone molds that I make um, cupcakes with or something like that. So what is funny about this is that these um, cups, you have to kind of start freezing these before you put the sticks in which are just craft sticks over here that I have washed and am letting dry to make sure that I didn't have anything else on them these we could use these popsicle sticks for anything okay so the interesting thing about making the popsicles in these non-traditional molds is that you kind of have to let the popsicles set up a little bit first. We're gonna go over this when we actually do this part, but I'm gonna let the popsicles freeze for about an hour before I try to stick the popsicle sticks in because I kind of want them to set because otherwise I think that they're gonna fall over and be a little bit wonky. So I'm gonna try to get there to be a little bit of hardness and solidity that will be able to hold the popsicle stick up before I stick it in there. And maybe with these bigger ones, I might even use two popsicle sticks or try to see if I can find a fatter one. We'll see when we get to that point. Okay. 
Okay, you guys, the first thing that you're gonna do when you make these um, cake batter popsicles is that to be completely safe, we are going to bake the cake mix that I got in this bag right here. So you don't have to do this, but um, I'm gonna show you the safest way possible because I don't want there to be any problems. This is kind of optional but you can do it if you um, want to or you're worried about the cake mix that you have. So you're gonna wanna put um, either parchment or a silicone in the bottom of your pan. I have a silicone pat, I'm gonna do that. And then you are going to scoop out three quarters of a cup of cake mix. What you do with the rest of the cake mix, you can do whatever. You could make mug cupcakes, you can make a little teeny little batch of whatever, but you can do whatever you want with that. This is about how much I have left. So I'm gonna spread out the cake mix over the silicone pad. I washed my hands, I swear you guys. And we're gonna bake it in the oven on 350. Let me turn my oven for about five minutes, okay? So um, I'm gonna come back to this when we're taking it out of the oven. All right, you can see what it looks like then. Cool. Oh, and you have to let this, in case I forget to tell you later, you have to let this completely cool before you make your um, popsicles because then it will melt the other ingredients. Duh. Okay. Okay, you guys, you can hear that my stove is beeping, which means that the cake batter is ready to come out of the oven. So, let's see it in there. You can see, you guys, it didn't take on any color. It didn't really do anything that you can really see. It looks pretty much the absolute same, but we're just kind of cooking it in case there is anything undesirable in there, make sure that that's dead and all taken care of. So I'm gonna let that cool off before we start making our um, popsicles. Okay, cool. Okay, you guys, we're getting ready to make our popsicles now and we're gonna move pretty fast because A, it's hot in here and I don't want the ice cream to melt that we are going to be using in a minute and um, I just kind of wanted to go over not the ingredients that we're going to be using but the other stuff that we need so we need the molds to be ready and we are going to need a blender which i have over here you can see my handy dandy blender okay so then i'm going to move you down so that you don't see my face as much and you see my hand so that um we can kind of move pretty quick okay okay so one of the things that makes this recipe really great is that it only has five ingredients. So let's get it together. And you just have to use them in the blender. So we're gonna take the um, cake batter that we just, you know, kind of cooked a little. Again, you don't have to do that step if you don't want to, um, or if you feel like you're not worried about your cake mix, but I did just cause again, we wanted to be sure. So, I'm going to pour this into the blender. And you'll see that I have the recipe up in the corner somewhere, one of the corners. Whichever I feel when I'm editing this video is the best corner to put it into. All right, so the cake mix is in there. Then we're going to need a cup of milk. my cup here's my milk it didn't specify what kind of milk so you can use any milk that you want to presumably you could make this with all non-dairy stuff if you wanted to I don't know how well that would freeze because there's sometimes a fat content issue but I think that the amount of ice cream that we're putting in here is making up for that but you could also use non-dairy ice cream again I don't know how it would freeze but we'll see so now I'm gonna grab my ice cream out of the freezer and we need three cups of this ice cream. 
So you can see it is very much like kind of making a milkshake. Next time maybe we'll make milkshakes. So three cups. And I don't think you guys have to be super crazy precise about this. We're going to do like, that looks pretty good. So one. So it says vanilla ice cream, but if you guys don't like vanilla and you want to use something else, yeah, go ahead. If you wanted to use it. It's okay. Somebody just fell on the floor. If you wanted to use cookies and cream or chocolate or anything else, we're going to blend it up, so it's just going to mix all those flavors in together anyway. Feels pretty good. Okay, and then you're going to put in a um, two speak two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So one. I do not want that to spill. Okay. Now we're going to get the top on the blender. And I'm going to blend it. But I am going to um, hopefully do it either quick or I'm going to take the sound out if we don't like really loud noises. So we're going to go for it. We're leaving the sprinkles out because that's four ingredients. Remember the cake mix, the milk, the ice cream, and the vanilla extract. So... Let's go. We're doing it until it's very smooth. guys see looks pretty smooth okay now I'm going to throw in the sprinkles and get the molds from over here so I can start pouring it pretty quick they want you they don't want you to blend up the sprinkles because then you'd lose all like that cool color so I think what we're going to do to even try to get a couple more sprinkles in there is that we are going to put sprinkles in here, mix it up, and then we are going to put sprinkles um, on the top. They might sink a little bit, but we'll deal with it. So. The recipe is going to say up there somewhere how much, but I'm just going to give it a nice pour of sprinkles. Then I'm going to get my handy dandy wooden spoon, stir them in. What do you guys think? A little bit more sprinkle? Eh, we're going to, okay, a little bit more sprinkle. Pull this out of here for a second and get our molds. Okay, I lowered down the camera a little bit so that you guys can see the molds a little bit easier. And now I'm going to pour them in. You probably will not have cactus one, <laughs> but. 
you can just pour them full in. You'll see when I use the other molds. Gonna, if you do have weirdly shaped ones, though, you're probably going to want to get them into the crevices and stuff like that. Okay, so then we're going to stick the stick in. And we might just do a little bit more on top so that the stick is nicely incorporated because it's making me be nervous that they're not super going around it. But again, these are plasticky ones. Okay. So these are going to go right into the freezer. So another tip I'm going to tell you if you haven't already done this, make sure that you're make, you made room in your freezer before because you don't want to be stuck um, trying to make room when you're trying to get them in the freezer. So into the freezer they go. Okay, so let's try. We have about this much left. So let me get at least these two non-traditional molds not that a cactus is super traditional so i really cleaned the um little mini yogurt and i'm gonna take it up to yeah, about there so if you can see i took it up to like kind of where like the second roundy part or something like that and same with this guy i'm not gonna fill them up all the way so we'll see how they come out. How much do I have left? Maybe I'm gonna bring these guys over. Check this other big one. And maybe this guy too. Oh, I think I have enough to fill them all. Excellent. So remember what I said about these guys. We're not putting a stick in them right now because um, I want them to start to harden before I put the stick in there. So let's bring these carefully over to the freezer where I also made room for these guys. Nice and cool by the freezer, you guys. Kind of want to stay there. <laughs> so, as you can probably guess, the big ones are going to take longer to cool than the little guys are. Or, you know, like, take longer to freeze. So, I might adjust just a touch and stick the bigger ones in the back. Okay, so we're gonna let those freeze for a little bit, but I'm gonna check back with you in about an hour when I stick the sticks in so that we can see what that's like. Hopefully, um, if it's not an hour and I can't stick them in an hour, I will wait another hour and then check back with you guys, okay? Hello from the inside of my freezer. Here are the popsicles freezing and um, I'm gonna pull them out and try and stick the sticks in them right now. So. Let's see if we can do that. All right, here are our guys. Let me see if I can do some close-ups on them so that you can see. Yeah, and I forgot that we were gonna put more sprinkles on them. So let's do that right now, and then we are going to put um, the sticks in. So let's go get that stuff. Okay, first, let's get the sprinkles. Sprinkles in here. Yeah, especially these guys don't look like they have enough fun sprinkles in them. All right. So hopefully when we stick this in there, it's frozen enough 
that they'll stay pretty much upright. This one's pretty good. No, this one not as good, but not terrible bad. Yep, yep. See, that one's not quite frozen enough. We might have to do it again, but that's okay. Just need time. Let's see about this guy. Yeah, weirdly, these are not so much, but these guys are. Okay, so, oh, these little ones, maybe. They just maybe need some more time. All right, we will um, check back with it later then. Or I'll try to prop them up in the freezer. Hmm. I'll let you know what I decide. Okay, you guys, so we are ready to unmold the popsicles. I let them freeze overnight because they were still a little bit soft yesterday when I was looking at them, so I decided to give them their best chance to come out of the molds and freeze them overnight, so we're going to open them up. I'm going to give you my predictions. I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to guess that the cactus ones are not going to come out of the mold. So we'll see how that works. And um, I think that the other ones should come out. So let's see what happens. All right, so here are all of our popsicles out of the freezer. The cactus ones, the yogurt container, and the silicone molds. So um, I'm going to try to take them out and put them on a tray. So, and then we can put them back in the freezer so that people can enjoy them later. So that you guys could do that too if you wanted to. I think the easiest ones to get out are gonna be the silicone molds because you can kind of just pull these down and voila, they pop right out. Cool. It's a popsicle, kind of. All right, let me get the other silicone ones out. You guys, we did it. So you can see I did stick the, um, look at all those sprinkles there at the bottom. I did stick the sticks in later. We were having a little bit of problems. I decided you guys didn't need to see that. So I did stick them in, but this one you could tell wasn't totally set. Do you see how it's like on an off angle? Sort of wonky looking. we go this one's out too another one that I kind of still tastes the same if the stick isn't exactly in the middle of it and this one too woohoo okay those are gonna be the easiest ones as you can see I'm saving the cactus ones for last because I think they're gonna be really hard let's see if I can get the yogurt one out There's two things I could do. I could put it in some hot water, but I think because this doesn't have any weird angles, I'm just going to take a knife and go around the outside of it and see if I can just loosen it up, get it to come out that way. Got it. There we go. Popsicle number two. And I didn't do this one in a thicker stick, but I probably should have done it in a thicker stick because this kind of feels like it's going to womp off as soon as it starts melting. Okay. So these ones came out pretty good. I'm super happy with them. Let's look at the cactus guys. Okay. I want you guys to see something up close. If I try to take this, this one I'm going to try to take out because it's, it's never ever going to come out. The stick part just comes out and it leaves this in here. I think that these are probably made more for um, ice, total ice, um, po icy popsicles instead of more like ice cream milkshake popsicles, but I don't even know how much they would work anyway. So I'm gonna try to use the knife method on this to see if I can get it to come out. I'm gonna take the stick, the usual stick all out all together. But I'm not, Super optimistic, you guys. And your pop, if you have a popsicle mold. Oof. <laughs> ah, well, you guys, I kind of, I kind 
probably did it. It's not actually a popsicle, but it is sort of a cactus. Look. Huh. All right, I'm gonna stick it on the tray. I'll see if I can try to get these ones out with the sticks still in them. Again, not super optimistic, but we'll see. But if you have a traditional popsicle mold, you know, like the tall ones, ones that look like regular popsicles, they should come out really easy. It's just a little bit trickier when you're using the ice cream idea of popsicles, the cake batter pop. Oof. The stick is, yep, it's gonna come right out, but let's see if I can pop it out. Check it. I mean, again, not a popsicle, because no stick. I could try this, you guys, with these popsicles, but you're not gonna see it because I'm gonna post a video before I have time to do this. I can try to refreeze these, the um, the cactus ones, with a stick in there. And if I can get that to work, yeah, that's never gonna work. If I can get that to freeze in there, I will post a picture of that this week. That one's probably the worst one so far. But yeah, there we go. Popsicles, and they're already starting to melt, so I'm gonna get them right back in the freezer at the other ones. But I'm gonna take one and I will taste it so you guys can see how I like it. So be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna taste this popsicle, this cake batter popsicle. All right, you ready? It's very sweet. It's very, very sweet. I don't know if I would want to eat this whole thing. And um, it's a little bit grainy, which I can't tell if that's from the sprinkles or the cake mix that we put in there or um, it not freezing hundred percent wonderfully tastes a little bit like ice crystals but I mean it's a popsicle it's cold I turned the lights off in here because um, it was really hot so I'm trying to keep the popsicle from like immediately melting but there you go I think I'm I think I'm done with this one it's just kind of like fun Fetty cupcakes which I don't know if you guys know my stance about Funfetti. I would rather just have a chocolate cupcake. But a lot of you guys like Funfetti cupcakes, which is why I make them. So I'm thinking if you like Funfetti cupcakes, you will like this popsicle. So if you want to make it, the um, directions are on that earlier post. And I will post it in the comments as well down below. And um, oh, if you wanted to know which popsicle I wanted to make, I wanted to make the carrot and coconut ones, which I might still make. That recipe looks really good. Grownups, try those. They look like they're gonna be much better. I have to find, I think, better um, popsicle molds because I couldn't find anyone better than this, but I can do it. I will persevere. Anyway, so thank you so much for coming. I hope that you guys had fun making popsicles with me and that we'll get to hang out again pretty soon. So have a lovely rest of your weekend. It's really hot. So try to stay as cool as humanly possible and we'll see you next time. Bye.